Want to improve your painting skills fast? Here's how to do it. Hey everyone, it's Ashley from Art Summits, and if you are in the beginning stages of your journey with watercolor painting or gouache painting or calligraphy, you probably want to improve your skills sooner rather than later. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a better artist now, right? But maybe you're busy with kids or family or a career and you don't have a ton of free time right now for creativity. Or maybe you're at a stage in life where you finally do have time to explore your creative side and you don't want to squander it. My number one tip for improving your skills fast when you're just starting out is to learn from multiple artists. This has helped me and our students improve our skills in an astonishingly short time frame. Here's why it works. First, it's kind of like going to college. When you go to college, you're embarking on a new journey of learning and you are learning from multiple professors over the course of a few years. You don't just go to college and learn from one professor the whole time, right? Now, eventually you might find a professor that you really like, you like their subject matter and their style of teaching, you might take more classes from them, you might even have them become your advisor. But when you're just starting out, you're getting exposed to lots of different subjects and ideas and styles, and that really helps you to discover your own unique path. I've come to the conclusion that it's the same for learning art. Even if you're not at art school and you are learning classes, say, online. Every teacher has their own unique tips and tricks and styles and methods, and it's really interesting to see how those are different across different teachers. And it's also really important to see what things are similar across different teachers. For example, one of the things that I learned from all of the artists in the Watercolor Summit, which is our online painting program that features a bunch of different artists, is that there are at least three ways to use your water jars. Jenna Rainey uses two water jars, one for warm colors and one for cool. Sarah Simon and Louise de Massey both use just one water jar and change it out when they need to. And a few other artists like Sarah Cray and Shauna Russell use two water jars, one for clean water and one for rinsing out their brushes. So that's just one example of how all of those teachers are a little bit different, but almost universally all of the teachers in the Watercolor Summit recommend using 100% cotton watercolor paper for your finished projects and sometimes even for practicing too. So you can see how learning from different artists can help you quickly discover different tricks and methods, but also how they can help you uncover common themes that can help you with best practices. You can see all of this unfold in our free watercolor supply guide, which I will link to below. I took all of the recommended supplies of our Watercolor Summit instructors from palettes to paper to paint to brushes and I compiled them all into one easy to use resource. It's really interesting to see where all of their recommendations overlap. So if you're curious about watercolor supplies, go check that out. Again, it's totally free. Another important reason for learning from multiple artists when you're just starting out is that you want to be exposed to lots of different styles and subjects. First of all, because it's just plain fun to learn new things, but secondly, because you may be exposed to a style or a subject that you weren't expecting to love, but that you actually really enjoyed. I hear this all the time from our students who, for example, don't expect to love the more realistic style classes in the Watercolor Summit, but they end up really falling in love with that process of slowing down and being a little bit more methodical and careful and detail-oriented with their painting. And on the flip side, some people don't expect to fall in love with the bright, splashy paintings, but they end up having a ton of fun creating them. So what I've found over the years is that learning from a bunch of amazing artists in the beginning of your journey and getting exposed to all those different styles and techniques is really important for your creativity over the long term but it'll help you get up to speed really quickly and help you eventually kind of design your own unique style. That's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.